My name's Tyler, welcome back to the channel. As this article does suggest that we will go over in this video, due to the FTD spike that we are likely to see, traders are estimating we could see a 30% move or more to the upside in the next coming week. So I want to go over that situation with you guys, go over what T plus 35 settlement time is. But overall, I want to go over an intraday update on AMC, look at the technical analysis, the Ortex data, the stock O tracker data, and much more in this video. Video. and specifically the technical analysis looks to be very bullish we are looking at a huge potential breakout and this reversal has officially started so let's not waste any time hit that like button for me consider subscribing to the channel let me know down below in the comment section what do you think about all of this information and with that let's get straight into it so amc currently forty dollars twenty cents per share up six percent on the day it is very volatile we are seeing a lot of volume on the day and we are only at about 1 p.m. and looking at about 44 million for total volume so it wouldn't surprise me if the volume comes in 80 90 even 100 million for the day right now it's typically the slow time of the markets in between about 11 and 2 o'clock once 2 o'clock really 3 o'clock starts to hit that's where you see the most volume is in the beginning of the day and the end of the day so by the time you guys see this video the price of AMC could be much higher but what I am seeing on a technical basis is really this 50 day moving average that we have been tracking on this channel for quite a long time which does tend to be a resistance level until it is broken and then it tends to be a support level once it has actually been broken and this 50 day moving average is this white line right here and this 50 day moving average we got to zoom in is at $39.85 which has been our resistance level we have a clean break above this really anything over $40 is incredibly bullish so I don't think we will close under $40 per share. If we do, watch to see that we close above $39.85. That'll 100% signify this breakout has reversed trends because as you guys can see right here, this 50 day moving average has been our resistance level time and time and again ever since really September 20th when we did bottom out under $40 per share. So this is the first time we have actually break breaked above this uh, 50 day moving average so definitely looking very good here watch for that end of day volume to come in and give us that massive move to the upside would not surprise me if we are over 10 percent positive on the day so that's really what's important as far as the technical analysis is concerned if you just zoom out you guys can see the overall picture of amc incredibly bullish looking for that continued breakout to the upside so that is a big reason why i've been just buying so much amc why i am buying more amc today so if you guys want to get notified when i buy amc or any other stock option and or crypto check out the link down below in the description for the buy and sell alerts but that's not as important let's talk about the ortex data where we were at right now refresh the page so we get the most up-to-date information we're looking at 17.79 percent short interest of free flow 91.01 million shares that are sold short and just so you guys are aware i don't think shorts have been covering whatsoever i think they've been buying out of the money calls to report back to their brokers that they have covered on their short positions but they have not actually covered so what that means is they still have an outstanding short position since obviously we did see the short interest go from about 19 percent down to 17.8 percent and the price of amc went down about 11 dollars in this time frame so all in all when you do see big moves like this or this continued breakout there is still short positions that need to be covered just because you report back does not mean your obligation to return those shares went away so incredibly bullish nothing has changed even though the short interest does look like it has went down that is only a figment of the data that we are being provided it's not what is actually there a figment of your imagination per se but it is reflected in the data but it's not actually what the real numbers do reflect so that's very important i do want to clear the air for some people that are un unaware of why the short interest has went down and the price has not went up so the share utilization is almost at 87%, which does mean there is quite a bit of shares that still can be lent out. We're not even close to, you know, potentially seeing four share recalls. Free flow on loan, 
33%, which has not changed whatsoever. I don't know if the Ortex data is still lag behind or if the free flow on loan just really hasn't changed. But considering the gap and difference we have between 17.8% short interest and 22.33% free flow on loan, I do think the short interest is going to continue to climb to the upside. And no, I don't think today we are seeing shorts covering. That is the gamma squeeze that we are seeing. And we'll look at that right now. For the expiration date for tomorrow, October 15th. We're looking at 75,000 calls that are in the money, out of the money calls at 231,877. So I do think we are going to see a big move tomorrow as well. I think this is really the start of this big move to the upside, but really the start of this gamma squeeze that is obviously going to end coming tomorrow, but we should see a big move to the upside. But I do do want to you know keep your guys expectations a little bit grounded just because Fridays tend to be one of the most most manipulated days with AMC stock and you tend to see everything looking good in our favor come Friday we see the price go down five to ten percent especially after you see these big moves throughout the week so that's really, you know, what I'm expecting. I would put my money on seeing a continued rally just because of the option chain is so compressed where we are currently at. We did see the 38, 39, 40 dollar strikes go into the money. All in all, that controls about 5 million shares that will need to be hedged for and that are likely being hedged for today. But at the 41, 42, 43, 44 and 45 dollar strike, you're seeing another, you know, about 5 million shares that would have to be hedged for. Right at the 41, you're looking at 1.14 million shares that would have to be hedged for 43 uh, about the same 1.2 million shares that would have to be hedged for another 1 million at the 44 and about 2 million at the 45 dollar strike so if we can see a a move to the $41 strike, then you're going to see a lot bigger move to the upside. So that's what you guys need to know. That is the data that we are being provided as far as today. We did get bank earnings that did come out as well that were great, better than anybody had expected. The loan numbers are going up. There's less defaults than people thought, which you know is not as important when it comes down to AMC and the overall movement of the markets. But that is giving us a move to the upside in the markets, up about one5 percent as we do currently speak like i said it might be a little different when you guys are actually seeing this video so let's talk about the ftds and this article that i came across today it was published yesterday october 13th at 608 p.m and this really really one part of this was very interesting that i do want to directly cover but there's some other funny things we should talk about as well so retail investors poured into og meme stocks on wednesday as gamestop went up 1.21 percent amc entertainment went up 6.49 percent and blackberry up 4.28 percent all posted gains while robin hood tried to bro out with the meme stock crowd but instead posted something off a dad tweet infuriating many traders on social media who are already distrustful of the zero commission trading app things were primed for amc on wednesday morning as the hashtag amc squeeze continued to trend on twitter and the theater chain's meme friendly ceo adam aaron wax wax poetic on the social media app about marvel's upcoming superhero blockbuster eternals which we did cover here on this channel Optimism on AMC stock was further fueled by speculation that hedge funds that are naked shorting the stock will have to cover in the coming week or so, week or two, leading to a possible gain of 30% or greater. This is really what I want to hone in on hone in on and i'll read that again optimism on amc stock was further fueled by speculation that hedge funds that are naked shorting the stock will have to cover in the coming week or two leading to a possible gain of 30 percent or greater and with t plus 35 settlement time this is basically right here what is the t plus 35 theory as quoted from sec in quotes if a ftd position results from the sale of a security that a person is deemed to own and that such person intends to deliver as soon as all restrictions on delivery have been removed the firm has up to 35 cal calendar days following the trade date to close out the failure to deliver position by purchasing securities of like kind and quantity so basically saying on a day that ftds spike you have 35 days from that day to cover your FTD positions. Now, FTDs have not been too crazy, but we are about to get the reports of the brand new FTD numbers that are coming out. And right here, I, I like this website, stocksera.com. They break it down for us. So today is October 14th and the T plus 35 settlement time 
uh, you know, going back 35 days was September 9th. And today we are seeing, uh, what is this, 473,364 FTDs that will have to be covered for about $22.5 million. Now, the next coming days, tomorrow, nothing crazy at all. Drops down to 341 shares that are, you know, in failure to deliver status that will have to be covered tomorrow. Then 100,702. And then after that, you're looking at Tuesday of next week, 119,929 failure to deliver. And if we look back, these failure to deliver numbers were coming out basically at the peak of this latest rally at when AMC was $51.96. So when these new numbers come out, I think they're likely to continue this trend up higher that we will see more FTDs that will have to be covered. Really, that will come down to October 20th and that'll put us into next week and then we should see a continued rally by the end of next week and tying this into the gamma squeeze and the option activity that we are seeing we're likely to see a lot of this uh, premium today that people have been making money on these calls going into the money as well as this out of the money premium that is, is still left being rolled over into the next uh, the next expiration date, which we're already looking at 97,000 for out of the money calls and in the money calls at 17,737. And just like this expiration date, for tomorrow, it, it's it's the same thing. The chain is compressed only to the $95 strike. So you're going to see more open interest closer to the money. Nothing, you know, comparatively to what we are seeing for tomorrow, but still a considerable amount overall. And especially if we can get to about $52, you're looking at about 2 million shares right there that would have to be hedged for as well. Millions in between, obviously, where we are currently at, at the $40 strike and that, that $52 strike. Overall, though, I think we are headed for a major breakout to the upside. I am going to go buy more AMC right now just because this is confirming this rally. And in my personal opinion, if you are somebody that trades options right now, not a bad time to hop into a position. I will look at the premium for myself, but I'm not a fan of options on AMC. I just want to own the equity, own the shares, wait for the MOAS to emerge and come to fruition. So that is this intraday update. If you guys got value out of this video, hit the like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know down below in the comment section. What do you guys think about this FTD situation? Do you think they are going to spike? Let me know your opinions on this. As well as if you guys do want to support the channel, link for public, link for Weeble, link for the buy and sell alerts down below in the description of this video as well. That is all for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.